gentlemen, this is Don DeFord. And uh, you tell the folks about this box social. Well, uh, this has been a plan of mine for a long time to stage uh, a real 1900 box social with all the straw hats, the bustles, the derby, and the button shoes, and with as many old-time automobiles and uh, vehicles as possible. So we've uh, done and captured pretty much that, Ralph. Well, it certainly looks like it. Is it? How are you? Come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, John Brownfield. Glad to be here, Corrine Ralph. Calvay's husband. That's the right. Corrine Calvay. That's right. And uh, we'll move back a little. We'll okay, sure, fine. Marion, don't go away. Don't Marian, go away, Marion. Come Mary. on Come here. Over here honey. DeFore. Marion DeFore. She's worked uh, two or three weeks on uh, this, haven't you? Yes. Really worked What's holding you up? I don't know. I got pins in my legs, I guess. Well, you certainly did a great job. I'm certain well, I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. Oh, you we're going to have are. a great time. Well, go ahead and get started okay. in the fray. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Tony Caruso and Don DeFore. Hi, hi. I wonder if they did this in 1900, Ralph. Well, I don't know why I had to blow this thing up. Don, I can't blow anymore. What happened to the tire pump? The tire pump? I lost the tire pump. Oh, no. There we go. Dr. Soldan, are you all ready to go? Yes, sir. This is my original car. Your original car? The first well, I... one I wrote, drove, yes, sir. Very good. How's the motor running? Oh, smoothly. You think we'll have it? Lovely. Just this... like the church. <laughs> There we are, ladies and gentlemen, with meet Eddie Brack in our master ceremonies. Eddie, how do you feel? Huh? How do you feel? High five, 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 five. Great. How's the motor work? Oh, the motor, my 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 great. You think you'll make it without stopping? Huh? Well, oh, did they have up? Well, great. You'll make it. You'll make it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Corrine Calvay. Corrine, how do you feel? You feel fit? Shaking all over, you think you'll make it? Yeah, probably will. And Mona Freeman? Hello, Don. How are you? Fine. Today? You look lovely, Mona. Thank you very much. Think you'll make it in there? No. Well, I, I don't, I've got my doubts, too, with any driving that way. Gail Storm, ladies Hi, and gentlemen. John. Hi, Gail. Well, I'm just fine. I tell you, I don't see how anybody ever gained any weight in these days. Well, then maybe you won't. Cars. Maybe that's a promise you won't. All right. Here we go. gentleman here doesn't need any introduction. You met him outside in that uh, rambling car. This is Eddie Bracken. Oh, hi. Hi, you. Yeah, uh, Eddie is uh, starring in room service at Preston Sturgis's famous restaurant on the Strip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say, and I have something to say, that I, uh, I, uh, trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that as the official host and hostess, we bid you a hearty welcome and hope that you will have a wonderful time on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. John Brownfield. Uh, Mrs. Brownfield is better known as Corrine Calvay, as you all know, and she's Hal Wallace's famous Paramount star. Well, hello, Ralph. How have you been? I've been <laughs> How do you like this? I think it's a beautiful affair. I think that everyone here has enjoyed themselves, and I think that we own Don DeFore and some of the others uh, a great vote of thought. They've been awfully nice. They've been working for two weeks at least on this, and I think they've made a terrible job of it. Very, very nice. I'd like to present a very charming young lady by the name of Marie Wilson. Thank you, Eddie, very much. Well, uh, this basket of food is, is, is real nice. We have a, I have a bottle of uh, French wine that I got from Corinne. And uh, we have um, meatloaf. And then there's um, some uh, um, chicken, pardon the expression, press. And um, <laughs> then uh, we better start. I'd like to present from Paramount Pictures, <laughs> Marie Wilson. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is awfully nice to be here. <laughs> it's awfully nice being here, and, uh, and uh, hope we all have some fun and spend some money. Thank you. Miss 
Mona Freeman, the Paramount star, the Charles e. Nelson. I believe you're a Universal star now, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that. We're doing a picture over there. Yeah, I know. What's the name of your picture, Ozzy? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't no publicity for pictures. Just oh, for studio. I'm asking. I want to know. No. Uh, yeah, I want to ask you uh, how you enjoyed being a guest or one of the stars of the uh, Westwood Village Church Fox Social. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I really I do. I, ha I haven't done anything like this in a long time. Made up a basket, you know, the picnic lunch and everything in it. I really had a good time. Don't say anything. Some of the best times I ever had, hardly a word was spoken. I just think there's too many people for that. What'd you say? I just think there's too many people here for that. That's why they're here. Would you like to... Uh... <laughs> all must know what happened to the baseball game today in which I pitched for McKinley's team. Uh, well, instead of telling you what happened, I'll, I'll show you what happened. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> well, have a good time. Bye. <laughs> 